In a season where the rebuilding Memphis Grizzlies are right now in the playoffs, led by a poised rookie sensation John Morant, the team has shocked some people this season, and they are building a team of young players that will be an annoying team for years to come. Among the young players lies a talented forward who has proved this season that he can be a great two-way player in the league. That player is Brandon Clark. Clark was selected with the 21st pick in the 2019 NBA Draft, and he went under the radars of a lot of teams. Players picked in the 20s are usually players who will serve smaller contributing roles on a team, but I feel like Clark is different. He'll be more than just a role player on the Grizzlies. Clark in his rookie season has proved that he can be more than just a bench piece and step into a starting role in the future. He averaged 12 points and 5.8 rebounds on 62% from the field and 40% from three with a remarkable 67% true shooting percentage, which ranks fourth in the league. Clark is a guy that fits into that grit and grind culture that Memphis has. He plays with a lot of motor, is a great inside threat, one of the most efficient bigs in the league, and is a top five in rebounding among all rookies. With the right minutes, he can easily be a double-double guy. He knows how to play inside with hooks and impressive floaters for a big guy that we don't usually see. He has really great hands. He works well in the pick and roll, generating a lot of his points there. Clark is 6 foot 8 and 210 pounds, and he is battling with bigger, stronger players at the power forward and center position. He's a guy, once he gets the ball, he immediately is looking to attack and hit a quick move and take you inside and score. He doesn't look to do any fancy moves with the ball, even though he does have a good handle with it. Now I do want to see a bit more of him in terms of shooting. His three point shooting isn't too bad, and he has this mid range shot from around that free throw line area that he can knock down at times. Players sometimes sag off of him just to test him a bit, but he has shown that he can knock down those threes and mid-range shots when he's open. I just want to see more attempts being given to him in that situation. If, a, if those attempts do come and he starts knocking them down along with the progression of Jaron Jackson Jr. as a defensive anchor, the Grizzlies can explore playing both of them at, at the front court position and they could have a lot of spacing and shooting from everyone on the court at their service. His defense is really good for a rookie coming into the league. He has a good feel of timing to block shots and when he blocks shots, this man elevates. His instincts and in just staying on his feet, not being baited into fouls, gives me hope that he can become a great two-way player at his position. Now, his three-point shooting is impressive, but when you look into the stats, he's only attempting around one per game. He does show a willingness to shoot them, so I give it a couple of seasons and I guarantee his attempts will rise. Also, what other moves does he have to create for himself? I kind of question that. Can he create off the dribble? But what happens when teams figure him out and takes away his sweet spots? He does have the right idea though, and he is a player to read and take what the defense is giving him. There is definitely a lot of positives rather than negatives when it comes to Brandon Clark. He's another bright spot on a rebuilding Memphis Grizzlies team. With his play this season, it truly makes you think, how in the heck did he drop to the 21st pick?